So there's an easy way to now play Roblox on Oculus. All you have to do is, is just, you might not see it, but it's App Lab right here. And now you don't need to have a computer or a cord to link to the computer or anything. You can now just play or watch the read. All you need is a VR Oculus to play Roblox. You don't need to link a computer. And honestly, this is huge news because I, I bought the uh, Oculus intending to play Roblox. But then when I realized, oh, I need a cord. And then I got a cord. But then the cord didn't work. And for some reason, and then they released a beta where it would work, but for some reason my computer apparently doesn't have the right requirements to even run VR, and so I just gave up until they finally released it. I don't know what took them so long, but I'm so happy that they finally did this, because now all you need is just the Oculus itself and a Roblox account, and you can get into it. We had that easy. Just look up Roblox, go to App Lab, scroll down, and download it, literally. But it, I do say that it is a bit buggy. Like, it can't, it, like, what I mean a bit buggy, it's, it's really buggy, because obviously it's in beta, and not fully developed, but it's, it's Roblox, and you can even edit your avatar in here, and buy stuff on the catalog, like, you can, you can buy a hat in VR, and see your avatar in VR, which looks really cool, it's depending on your avatar, I guess, but, yeah, you can, but I do like how you can even edit your avatar, but there are some features, like, you can't, like, you can't look at groups, you can't, there's a lot of features that aren't implemented yet. Like, you can't, you can't play in a private server in VR, because that feature's not implemented yet. You can, you can voice chat and use the chat feature in Roblox in VR, even though obviously it's a bit hard to use, because you have to manually type out each thing with the VR controller. But now all you have to do is just download it and have a Roblox account. But the way you sign in is you have to go into a login device that had ropes on it and enter a quick login code. But you can't, and that's the only way to get in. I don't think you you can enter your password and username. In the app, you only the only way to get in is a quick login. But that's about it. I just wanted to say that this is the best method because now you don't need a cord. And also, this is a much better version of Roblox because it actually is meant for the Oculus and it has it has like an avatar editor. And it's an application on the VR itself. But if you want to go play it, I mean, it's right there. Like and subscribe.